In late 2024, the world's defense analysts were stunned. A new, mysterious jet appeared in the skies over Chengdu, China. Sleek, tailless, and unlike anything we've seen before. This wasn't just another stealth fighter, it was China's bold entry into the race for sixth-generation air dominance. Its name? The Chengdu J-36. For years, China's pride was the Chengdu J-20, a fifth-generation stealth fighter designed to rival America's F-22 and F-35. But military planners know the future won't belong to today's jets. The United States, Europe, and even Japan are already working on sixth-generation aircraft. China could not afford to fall behind. And so, in late December 2024, the prototype of the J-36 took flight, marking Beijing's next step in aerial warfare. The J-36's shape is radically different. It has no vertical tails, no traditional stabilizers. Instead, its body blends seamlessly into a diamond-shaped delta wing, creating a flying wing profile optimized for stealth. This design makes it nearly invisible to enemy radar, but also extremely difficult to control. Only advanced flight computers and powerful algorithms make it flyable. But the biggest surprise is hidden at its core, three engines. The J-36 is a trijet, a configuration almost unheard of in modern fighters. With three power plants, it has immense thrust for speed and range, the ability to supercruise, flying supersonic without afterburners, and the endurance to strike targets thousands of kilometers away. To mask its massive heat signature, engineers tuck the engines deep inside the fuselage with recessed exhausts to reduce infrared detection. The J-36's weapons remain hidden inside its body. A huge central bay is believed to carry long-range air-to-air missiles like the PL-17, capable of striking aircraft more than 300 kilometers away. Smaller side bays allow rapid missile launches during dogfights. By keeping its payload internal, the jet maintains stealth while staying lethal. But stealth is only one part of the story. The J-36 is expected to feature advanced radar arrays, electronic warfare systems, and artificial intelligence to assist the pilot. Analysts believe it could act as a battlefield command ship, controlling swarms of unmanned drones, known as loyal wingmen, that scout, jam, or even attack alongside it. Reports also suggest a naval version is being considered. If true, the J-36 could eventually operate from China's aircraft carriers, extending its reach across the South China Sea and the Pacific. For a country rapidly expanding its navy, a sixth-generation carrier jet would be a game-changer. But China isn't alone. The United States is developing its Next Generation Air Dominance Program, or NGAD, designed to replace the F-22. Europe is working on the future combat air system, while Japan and Britain are building the FX and Tempest. The J-36 is Beijing's answer ensuring it doesn't fall behind in this technological arms race. Exact figures remain secret, but experts estimate the J-36 could reach speeds over Mach 2, operate at altitudes above 20,000 meters, and carry 10 to 13 tons of weapons. Its bubble canopy hints at space for a two-seat variant, possibly adding a second crew member to manage drones or electronic warfare. But challenges remain. The Trigid design is complex, maintenance will be difficult, and China's jet engines have historically lagged behind Western designs. Without proven adaptive engines, sustained supercruise and long-term reliability remain uncertain. And unlike the US, which has decades of experience with stealth operations, China is still learning how to maintain and deploy such advanced aircraft. What we're witnessing is a global competition. The United States aims for a sixth-generation fighter by the 2030s Europe and Japan are targeting the same decade. China's J-36 may be the first prototype we've actually seen flying, but being first doesn't guarantee being the best. What matters is who can integrate stealth, AI, weapons and networks into a reliable combat system. Will the J-36 outclass America's NGAD and Europe's FCAS or is it just another prototype that will never reach mass production? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into military technology.